everyone welcome back we saw for the value of x given this uh, math problem we have 5 over x multiplying by 5 over x this is equal to x over 5 so what is the value of x solution so you're saying we have 5 divided by x multiplying by 5 divided by x this is equal to x divided by 5 okay so this is 5 times 5 which is 5 squared divided by x times x which is x squared this is equal to x divided by 5 okay so we cross multiply so that we'll have 5 squared multiplied by 5 this is equal to x squared multiplied by x okay so this is 5 squared remember if you have a multiplied by n and this to power n multiplied by a is to power m this can be expressed as a that is n plus m or m plus n okay so this means this is 2 plus 1 so that we'll have 5 cubed remember the bases are common 5 5 so it's 5 cubed is equal to the same case here this is x raised to the power 1 so it's 2 plus 1 so this is equal to x cubed okay so and then we take this x cubed to the left hand side so that we'll have 5 cubed minus x cubed this is equal to 0 okay so what you have formed here is the is the difference of cubes okay um which is expressed as a cubed minus b cubed this can be expressed as a minus b into the bracket a squared plus a b plus b squared okay so we apply this approach to solve for the value of x in this case so we have 5 cubed minus x cubed this is equal to 5 minus x um, 5 squared plus 5x plus x squared this is equal to 0 okay so we can see clearly the first value of x is 5 minus x this is equal to 0 and that affirms that x the first value of x is equal to to 5 okay is equal to 5 okay so that now the second part we have that is 5 squared plus 5x plus 25 um sorry plus x squared this is equal to zero okay so we form a quadratic equation that is x squared plus 5x plus 25 this is equal to zero now this is a quadratic equation with values of a as equal to 1 b equal to 5 and c equal to 25 okay so we apply the quadratic formula which is expressed as minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divide everything by 2a okay so we apply this quadratic formula to solve for the value of x the values of a b and c in a quadratic formula so that we'll have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 25 divide everything by 2 that is 2 times 1 so that we'll have negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 100 divided by 2 okay so that we'll have negative 5 plus or minus the square root of this is 25 minus 100 which is negative 75 divide everything by 2 okay so this can be expressed as negative 5 plus or minus 75 negative 75 can be expressed as um can be expressed as 25 multiplied by 3 multiplied by negative 1 divide everything by 2 okay so that we'll have negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 is 5 multiplied by the square root of 3 and negative 1 this is equal to i okay 
so multiplying by i divided by 2 okay so that we'll have the second value of x that is x2 will be given by negative 5 that is negative 5 divided by 2 plus or minus sorry this is plus 5 square root of 3i divided by 2 okay so that means x2 is negative 2.5 that is 5 divided by 2 negative 2.5 plus 2.5 square root of 3i and x3 is equal to negative 2.5 minus 2.5 square root of 3i okay now these are two set of imaginary these are imaginary uh, roots or imaginary solutions that is x2 which is equal to negative 2.5 plus 2.5 square root of 3i and x3 which is negative 2.5 plus i'm sorry negative 2.5 3i okay we are saying these are imaginary imaginary roots these are imaginary roots okay and we have the only real root x1 was given as equal to 5 okay so the value of x is equal to 5 this is the only real solution we have okay so we can verify if x equal to 5 is correct okay remember we end 5 divided by x multiplying by 5 divided by x this is equal to x divided by 5 so we substitute the value of x which is 5 so that we'll have 5 divided by 5 multiplying by 5 divided by 5 this is equal to 5 divided by 5 okay so this is 1 times 1 this is equal to 1 okay and it's true 1 is equal to 1 okay so that is the left hand side is equal to the right hand side and that affirms that x is equal to 5 thank you for watching and kindly subscribe